Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to game number nine of the season, Geordie Go. Um, if I win and the Dwarves don't win, then I win the league, which is good for what it's worth. I was scared that I was going to give away Cheney to a, a zombie team, uh, to a Necro team, but he's got, he's just got all zombies, so he can't even get a star player, so I'm not even bothered. He sure will foul some people, but who gives a shit? I'm not keeping the team. I um, went Janola just because I thought I'd better get him before I finish the team. So yeah, I mean it was it was it wasn't a great it wasn't a great buy getting the ghoul seeing as he might get may well get fouled a lot, but who gives a fuck? I mean, you know, it's, <laughs> it's hard to care about a league that you're quitting after the after the next game, isn't it? But there you go. Um, by the way, hello VIP Hessian and VIP Oriolensis. Yep, Jim's not dead. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I went for the bribe and the wizard, fair enough. I thought about just buying a wizard, because it was the last day of the season. Last game of the season, I thought, well, that's probably game of the team. Obviously, buy a wizard is better than a ghoul who'll just get stomped to death. But I was like, fuck it. Ah, oh, hello, VIP Oriolensis. Oriolensis the Merciful. <laughs> oh, man. I was... I was nearly... Jimmy the Merciful against the Bretts, holy shit. Fucking dire, dire, dire last few turns of normal time. And not great, um, not great overtime. I, didn't, I don't think I played that bad in overtime, really. Um, to be honest. I guess I shouldn't have done my dodge on two GFIs. It didn't really make it much harder. You might not have seen the chain. But there were a few chains you could have done. I don't know. I, I should have gone back after I picked the ball. And the, the misplays in overtime were slight. Just little things that, that added together made it a fucking shower of shit. Whereas the turn 15 and 16 were absolute horrific misplays. Yeah, Jimmy the penalty taker. Ladder after our solitaire. No, no ladder after, but doing the cast of the um, like re the replay of my Champions League match with like talking about it, um, about stuff. Seems like a good idea. Oh man, twenty minutes. I love it when you get twenty minutes for an enchantment point, but then it's not so good when you've got no one that can fucking do it. This is your brain on buffs. I don't want to activate three warps. Do you know what? I've got a hundred DeLoreans, 38 time turners, 21 quantum leaps. And, um, well, max of all, I haven't used any buffs at all. <laughs> I think I used one when I got buff abuse, like when you had to use a buff. I'm just saving them for, like, the hard missions. <sighs> fucking zombies, man. What the fuck is this about? I don't even know what I do against them. Likewise. Oh, not as his stadium. His stadium was um, had the had the fouling thing, so I was totally gonna foul his. Um, his dirty players, so that his dirty players couldn't foul me, but um, no need. Go on, lads of the Lost Ark, yeah, I fucking love it. I, I love Chris says Lost Ark. My kind of game, you don't have to fucking do anything. Pretty relaxing, just watching them killing people. I've made spreadsheets about it and everything, it's brilliant. My kind of game, oh yeah. Ah, excellent. Could I make it two dice? Yeah, but I don't want to because I'll just blitz in if I don't get an off down. 
Seeing as he doesn't really have high priority targets, does he? Well, I guess this one is as close to the high priority target as you're going to get. He's just a guard, so he would get to blitz one of these, but fucking. Got the guard to protect him a bit. But he can, he can blitz this one, can't he, with a guard? But fucking. Ginola, man. Like a shit Diablo, yeah, yeah. It actually looks, it actually looks like a game for me, to be honest, Albion. It really does look like what I want at the moment. It looks like it would be pretty fucking, pretty, pretty um, pretty chilled out, just riding around on your horse. Click on some rocks. Ride around on your horse a bit more. But um. And I really like Diablo. It does look like a shit Diablo though, doesn't it? And Diablo is what, fucking 20 years old? Maybe not that old, but a fucking about that old. <sighs> Thank you, VIP Kurgo. No, I, I, I'm not going to play it, VIP, I don't care this. I'm not going to play it, but... Um, it, look, yeah, RimWorld. <laughs> oh, man. The missus is playing RimWorld all the time, and it just looks amazing. I just it makes me want to it makes me want to fucking just read about it and play it. Not on stream. I couldn't be chewed with it doing it on stream, but I wouldn't mind fucking doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing. That's the thing. Um. That's the thing, VIP don't the colours, it's just like it's not worth the aggro, especially not stress is bad for me at the moment, so Yeah, I think I'll give uh, Rimworld another another try. Mm -hmm. Um another try off stream and then if I if I get into it off stream then I'll stream it. I think that's the play. Because I like Sims and I like and I liked Stardew Valley, but the problem with both of those games was nothing fucking happened. And there was no challenge whatsoever. So RimWorld seems to combine those two and have things happening. It seems pretty good. But I wish it had Sims graphics. Then it'd be pretty fucking good, wouldn't it? No, oh, man. People to using zombies and taking up more than ten seconds a turn, I think is bad form. Bad form, to be honest. You don't take an all zombie team to spend four minutes fucking thinking every turn, do you? Can you play a bit faster, please? Holy fucking shit. Oh, I gotta, I gotta take my four minutes. Gotta think about this. Very tactical match of 16 fucking zombies. <laughs> He's not gonna stab the tree. <laughs> Dwarf Fortress. No, I've, I've heard that Dwarf Fortress is um, ridiculously difficult. Which seems to be something that I don't want. And the graphics are even worse by the looks of it. Just after, after a quick fucking Google. Alright. I can hit somebody. Yeah. 
means I can hit somebody else. Yeah. Oh. Fuck, not easy to hit there though, is it? Could 1D him? And then 2D there. Can I get a surf here? It looks like I should be able to, doesn't it? I guess I can't. Shada. No, just put him there. Fuck it. Might as well. So keep it a bit safe against a wizard, isn't it? And then yeah, just one day this guy. I'm I'm trying I just want to play as fast as possible because I literally don't care. And don't want him to care either. And take too long. No, Dwarf Fortress looks unplayable. That looks really horrific. Plus, I fucking hate dwarfs. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Will King. <laughs> that was horrible. I deserve to lose after the clusterfuck on 15 and 16. Oh, just horrible. Fifteen and sixteen is so fucking bad. And then obviously winning the toss in overtime with a wizard and not scoring was pretty poor as well. But he made those removals early on, didn't he? Which made things difficult. After I spun out Apple not realising it was seventy five percent to come back. So made some made quite a few misplays. He didn't really do anything wrong apart from just giving up a million hits to Corpop. Which he amazingly you know, almost got away with. A lot of the cars came at the end when it didn't really matter so much. <laughs> no, I just hate dwarves. I just, I just really hate them. I really, I don't know why, really. I don't know why, but I've always hated them. It just, it just strikes me as dumb that they're short and fat, but they're good at fighting. It's just, it's just really dumb, isn't it? It's really, really dumb. I just don't get it. Oh man, every time a fucking, every time a first one gets knocked down, they get their armor broken. Not even joking. Not even joking, it's ridiculous. Give up a block. Get your fleshy Kaz to no regen. It sums up my life in Blood Bowl. Thank God it doesn't matter. It was it was a shit show, Hessian. Exactly as I said it would be. Exactly what I said it would be, Hessian. It was an absolute nightmare of a match. You know, he had 14 players, so it was hard to beat him attrition-wise. I'm an armor 8 bash team, which is already frail enough, so he just had me to get some lucky hits, which he got. And some fouls, which he got, and it was um, it was terrifying. But um, one on penalties with a minus two of the roll, so pretty unbelievable.
<laughs> um, is this my guy? Ah, yes, get the pal. Of course. <laughs> Need a stair so we can block him down. I want to blitz with him, but I guess I'm going to have to dodge blitz. So he can block him. Dodge, calls it fails. Yeah, that's his temperament and rage, exactly. Uh, exactly VIP jump cost. No cars for the next match, so that was good. He just made a million. You just made a million. Um, you made a million KOs. But yeah, no cars, so the team's full strength for the next match, which is good. And got 80k winnings as well, so there's a chance of, if I beat Inari in the semi, getting 70k winnings and being able to just scum a wizard in the final, which would be great, wouldn't it? I don't think I'm going to... Um, oh, I moved it, Hesse, because I think I thought that was what was causing the problem with the alert box. But actually, it wasn't causing the problem because the problem persisted, so I can't have the tip jar, but good point. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think I'm not going to stream my next Champions Cup match because you can watch Fash. You know, you can watch Fash with the sound off. <laughs> you don't need to listen to Lupo. Nah, Lupo was pretty good actually. To be fair, he was he was absolutely fine. I watched the commentary of the match and Lupo did a good job. Fashbinder did a good job, so can't can't argue. They didn't they didn't savage me when I played horrifically bad, which was nice of them. <laughs> I thought they'd been a lot more brutal than what they were, but they were mostly just I don't like this rather than oh my god he's the worst fucking player in the world, <laughs> which is what I was thinking. I would have savaged, savaged Lupak if he'd played as bad as I did. <laughs> so. Nah, right, fair enough. VIP yeah, has seen. Yeah, shot more than anything, yeah. I would have, oh my god. I would have, I would have savaged Lupak or Sage or Kanor, you know, anyone like that. I would have fucking. I would have given them some stick if they played as bad as me, so. Well, it was only really on a couple of turns, you know. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, on Ted versus Necro. <laughs> he's, um... He's... It's, it's Necro versus Necro. He hasn't got no mummies. He's just got all zombies. <laughs> he's just all zombies. Because he's an absolute madman. I clicked there, didn't I? What the fuck was that? Did I run out of time? <laughs> the fuck was that? Someone clip that, please. <laughs> the fuck was that? Just cyanide things, eh?
Zombie teams are fun, can't argue with that. I'm getting a bit fucked on here. Bizarrely against an all zombie team. That sized up the wrong square really didn't help though, did it? Fuck was that about? Oh, I should have clipped it myself using semis. PC, what a time to be AFK. Right, it's 29 minutes into the stream. Ish. I'll find out myself. That's fucking, that's bad news, that, innit? I totally clicked on, on the other square. I don't think. Oh, man. It's Rictic Shizer. Cyanide even breaking, breaking Twitch just so no one has to see how shit they are. Unbelievable, Jeff. Can double surf here, but I'd have to dodge him. Which doesn't seem good, does it? Should have just pushed him forward. Ah oh well. No surf anyway. Roll gym pushes. I don't even know what I'm doing here, it's just awful. Just absolute dog shit. Should have done this one first at least, shouldn't I? At least that was a two in all one. I'm still salty about the game yesterday, I guess. It was pretty bad. Pretty bad game. All the zombies, I'm the underdog here, really, when you think about it. <laughs> oh, shit. I might have been the underdog if he was a proper Necro team and induced Cheney. Could have been the underdog, but yeah, obviously. Massive overdog against a team of 16 zombies. I am going to slate myself on the recast later. Yeah, I'm going to... No, I'm not, actually. I'm going to explain why I played so bad. Um, on some of the turns. And also... Um, slate myself a bit. Rather than slate myself brutal. I will be playing the Champions Ladder this season again, yeah, just um Just having a little bit of a break from it. Yeah, the agony. Crazy. The fucking agony of it, holy shit. Hideously bad. I'm just shocked that Dupak and uh Lupak and Fash didn't savage me more. Because it was really bad. I might not I might not stream the the next one. I think as people will be casting it anyway. And to be fair they both did a good job of it, so can't argue with that. Ah, oh, pardon me, bludger. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got pretty lucky casting both his dirty players pretty quickly. I made it made his team a lot less scary. It was all under control in in normal time until until it wasn't. <laughs> Until it wasn't, until I just fucking played shit for that turn. That one turn that nearly made everything go wrong. Um, okay, that was a little up in this game. Got to base the ball, though, haven't you? You know that that was his, that was his strats there. He was like, "What I'll do is I'll base the ball and then profit." Seemed like seemed like the right thing to do. One in nine dodge, unbelievable! Come on, get a pal. Couldn't be a pal, could it? Of course it couldn't. Go on, get him. Yeah, got him. Tschüss. Yeah, started casting when it mattered though, halfway in overtime, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, Will King. Chaos are a dicey fucking team, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. That's what I mean. It was, I knew it was, it was a fucking tough game. And I thought everyone who said it wasn't would be in dickheads. Or just didn't understand Blood Bowl enough. Because <laughs> it would have been totally different if it had been Oriolensis's team. If I had had Oriolensis's team against... Uh, Against that Brett team, I'd be like, I'm gonna smash him. He's got no chance, you know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even, I wouldn't have tried to play anything down. I'd be like, he's got no chance. If I if I lose this game, it'd have been a fucking joke. Well, he would have had to have got a godly wizard and stuff to have had a chance. But that's the thing, yeah. I'm a rate two two dirty players, a bribe. He was, he was, he's always gonna have a decent shot at her. Now I'm a rate. Funny that my misplay removed his best player. It was good in the end. Yeah, Orioles has had orcs. Yeah, I mean, I I just don't know how. Bretts are meant to beat orcs. They get orcs because they're faster than them. Presumably, that's meant to have an effect being faster. It's the hardest advantage to make use of, though, isn't it? Being faster than somebody. They're all agility three and strength three. It's like so who gives a fuck if they're a little bit faster. Yeah, I bet he was good. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he didn't make anything, any horrible mistakes like I did. Um, but I mean, I don't think his strategy of basing the ball every turn was a good one. That was that was the thing. That was the thing. I think, I think his overall strategy wasn't good. Uh, but then, you know, you could say that he needed to be like that to have a chance, I guess. Don't know what that means. VIP, Mr. Yamanda. <laughs> it wasn't really outplayed, was it? I just chose to give it up. I chose not to dodge with my agility for a ghoul because I thought I'd rather hit that guy and not take a hit on my ghoul. Zombie so it doesn't die. Uh, quiet so it doesn't die. Even though the players' lives don't matter because I'm not playing this team again. So I just don't give a fuck. Yeah, his story was good in the first half. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't make any mistakes. Yeah, I don't think he made any mistakes. Uh, like playing, playing blood ball wise. Um, like yeah, I thought his story was pretty good. Maybe I should have used my wizard on it. You know, maybe should have done.
bricking it for the turn. Yeah, what happened with the turn 16 was, the reason that I did the dumbass push square was because for some reason, I thought, um, I thought I could run that way. I didn't, didn't see that there was the dodge to be made. So, yeah, that wasn't good, was it? For some reason, I just didn't see that dodge. Had I seen that dodge, obviously, I, I just needed the push and then another push. Not even a push on the second one, because he had wrestle. But, um... Yeah, it wasn't good, was it? I've just done a lot of curses, though. Oh. Do we do that? Sweet. in reserve, so that cast doesn't matter too much. I should try to foul next turn, shouldn't I, if I can? <laughs> foul a powerful, a powerful zombie. <laughs> oh, shit. I shouldn't try stalling it out, should I? I should just scored then. Because you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna fucking three turn. Play account doesn't matter, does it? But fouling the um, guard zombie would be a good idea. I'll get rid of his guard. Uh, would be helpful. Somewhat. So in Rimworld, though, there's like there's some kind of like ruins, isn't there? Are they meant to be ruins? I don't know. There's some kind of like stone kind of buildings. Can you just um, can you just fucking put doors on them and make them your own houses? It's pretty good. Cool. Champions, the champions um, ladder, probably Jar Jar Nicks, because then you can always get a game. You don't have to dick around scheduling with pricks. And um, there's money on, there's money prizes as well if you manage to to get there and get lucky, get lucky enough to win them. Brilliant. My guard dies instead of me start following his. That's good. The sexy brutal. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what you mean there. VIP Mr. Yemen.
Yep, Cephas Kane. Well, not World Cup, Champions Cup. Yep. Won. Unbelievably, unbelievably won. Oh, ping. Oh yeah, okay. Sexy brutal. Yeah, it wouldn't thank you. Well, uh, it wasn't really well done. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't well done. It was uh, well rolled in the overtime. It was it was horrible. I played pretty shit, to be honest. Didn't deserve it. He he deserved to win. Um, yeah, just got just got lucky with the uh, the roll off in in overtime. I did, I did indeed fall victim to the best trying blood ball base in the ball. He actually did it well one turn which made me bolt him. And then um he did it later and then just didn't get didn't get killed by a claw pommer. His strategy was to give up claw pom hits all game long on his best players. Which, you know, struck me as, as not the smartest play in the world. But he got away with it all the way till overtime really, and then obviously by overtime it was kinda of too late to do do anything for me because he was um the important thing in overtime was obviously Scott getting touchdowns rather than removing people. But like it wasn't it wasn't that bad I guess given the club hits every turn on his best players. They just didn't just didn't get cast, which made them um yeah, mid left two. All right, here we are. Sexy brutal as a link. <laughs> I'll put, no, I won't put the sound on for streaming. <laughs> yeah, actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, set up like this and it's, <laughs> it's not even turning. it. <laughs> what the fuck am I even doing? I'm letting him, he can't even, he's got a chain push to get a scoring threat. <laughs> oh man, he has to chain push to get a scoring threat. Fucking hell, man. Oh, zombie team is pretty pretty badass, isn't it? Needs to needs to one get one turn pushes to get a two to get a two turn threat. Holy shit. <laughs> That's amazing. Literally can't two turn without quick snap or, or pushes. Fucking hell. This will be the best TD ever. Fair play to him if he gets this. <sighs> yeah, I might give it a go for the OP Mr. Yamadam. It looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah, skeletals are much superior to zombies. Yeah, I would have at least have a couple. I would, <laughs> I would at least have a couple of zombies. I would have made it an undead team and had a couple of skeletons to... To be ballers. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Try, I'll try to qualify later, definitely. Ah, I see. I see Jakaizu. Oh, man. Oh, Eric Beheimer goes okay right now. Playing, playing against all zombies, when does it not go okay? Unless they get lucky as fucking kill all you guys, I guess. No two turn here. He, he failed. He failed at the pushes. <laughs> the pushes to get the scoring threat <laughs> didn't, didn't quite work out. <laughs> oh man. Um, I can stand these up. Oh shit! They just get knocked down again. Fuck. And then foul in with no assists. It doesn't really achieve anything. <laughs> I should have just left them down, shouldn't I? Now I've given up three blocks and a foul for no reason. Just thought it was fun. Unbelievable, eh? Playing for fun. Holy shit. Oh, wow, well, thank you very much for the bits. VIP Mr. V Mr. Yemen down. Thank you very much. Very much. That's 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 fifteen dollars, isn't it? Fucking hell! Thank you very very much, VIP, Mister Yemen Dan. He's necro, Kurgol. He's necro. So um, yeah, he can't get a skeleton. Just limited himself to zombie. Didn't didn't want the temptation. I guess there is a reason to go necro if now because you get you get M A L uh, journeyman zombies rather than you get journeyman skeletons with undead. So there yeah, you go. That's what it is. Well, yeah, that was my problem yesterday, wasn't it, Ducky? If I if I hadn't failed that one in nine, I would have just picked up the ball and been away, and then rolled. Then the next turn rolled another one in nine, then a one in three, and if any of those rolls had worked out, um, I'd have just got the ball and been away. So, pretty shit. Some pretty bad rolls in terms of clearing tackles on from the ball and picking up the ball and stuff. Um, but yeah, obviously rolled the rolled the six in the end to make it all right. Yeah, but he he's got sixteen players, Sean. He <laughs> he's got he's got sixteen players. So if your idea is to just go all zombies, then um, wow, he fouled with he, did he foul with his guard guy? No, he fouled with Dave. I was going to say that was pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, when you go 16 zombies, you don't get fucking Cheney. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's the reason to not get journeyman skelly, skeletons at low TV, I guess. Stiff rampart. Actual normal setup, isn't that crazy? I have to protect my men's here, seeing as he's a fucking fouling lunatic. <laughs> I 
<laughs> three cars, two deaths, including the guard guy. Well, to be fair, the the cars that I caused actually mattered. It was his kickoff return guy. Oh, don't block dauntless, so actually did something. Yeah, PB start Jimmy streaming his last league match for a while. Yeah, thank God. Fucking leagues. Holy shit. Fucking hate that. I just hate schedule. Leagues would be great if, if it was just like, you know, you play your game at 3pm on a Saturday. Every Saturday. That would be it. That would be the league for me. You play your match 3pm a Saturday. No exceptions. You know, if somebody's half an hour late, they get the loss. Just fucking brutal like that. And people, everyone in the league has to have, you know, 3 p.m. on a Saturday free. And they better fucking make the time if they want to stay in the league. And if you miss two games, you get sacked and or banned from ever taking part in the league again. This is what my league's going to be, something like this. Because fucking scheduling is the absolute fucking worst, worst thing in the world. <laughs> Literally the worst. <laughs> the worst thing in Blood Bowl. I'd rather lose, you know, 4 0 and get all my players killed than have to fucking piss about scheduling games. Holy shit. Is that ten three one with um Chaos Dwarves? Yeah, of course that's worth keeping Ducky. Of course it is. That's pretty good. Chorf struggle early on. Yeah, people really dick around when it comes to playing times. Really fucking really fucking does my nut here. Yeah, Hesse and I should I should really email Nethios and try to get into his good books after the um after the World Cup debacle. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, the claw, obviously, yeah, should happen eventually, but yeah, you really do need it. Because without it, you're just getting shat on by um, orcs, especially, aren't you? And dwarves to an extent. I'm just going to fuck you up. Big style. I go plus strength every time over claw. Right, sorry, I was muted for a bit there. There was some, um, there was some screaming Turks, and I was eating some crisps. So there you go. Um, yeah, that was what happened there. What the fuck, you are BB? That was why. Make your pardon. 
<laughs> so yeah, that, that's what happened. With the, with the camera, I'm just fucking ill and I can't be chewed. Showing my face, to be honest. Well, it's not so bad with my face, it's more that I just can't be fucking bothered to show it. It's a lot of dicking around, I like being able to, um, do what I want with my face while <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> like this right now, yeah. <sighs> Hello, La Stranger. Hello, Coldy. Um... Good luck against you now in Coldy, by the way. Oh man. Goes for the free plus. It dies. He regens though. Yeah. Yeah, genau. Right. This is giving us a pretty. Oh, I'd have to GFI. I'll do a GFI first. First action. Let's go. No safe moves in this fucking town. Fucking safe moves first. What kind of prick can do that? Just bang on fools. He ain't even got block, has he? Fucking safe moves first. Fuck's all that about, eh? guy through. Let's go here and um, make the block with block then. Now it makes the push no good here though. Oh no it does, thanks for the K-help. No. <laughs> Not so good there though. Safe moves last. <laughs> Glorious! <laughs> Just good, you're glorious after. Yeah! <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I need every bit of look. Yeah, fucking hell, it looks brutal, the TV difference. <laughs> Yeah, the TV difference looks brutal. Um, yeah, you need a lot. Oh, it's tonight. Half eight GMT. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't stream it. Yeah, half ten. Half A scar what happened was <laughs> I can tell the story for everyone who can't see this 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 mark on my hand I, me and my fr I was friends with a, a Chinese boy whose parents had a Chinese takeaway and we went out the back of their Chinese takeaway and then um, and up the stairs to like where they lived and I was playing with him and his brother we were playing darts and we had a dart board we didn't have anywhere to hang the dart board so what we did was, we held the dartboard 
<laughs> while the other people threw the darts. Mm. And as I held the dart board and I got a dart in my hand. And then and then after that we realised that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> holding a fucking dart board to throw it at each other. <laughs> 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 Isn't that, isn't that fucking crazy? Um, turns out, not the best strategy. <laughs> I, mean, I was only a little kid, <laughs> to be fair. To be fair, I was just a little kid. But yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> he also he had he had a fucking arcade machine and he had Pac-Man and we would put like we would play Pac-Man for free um when the when the place was closed which was pretty fucking good to be honest. Maybe it was Miss Pac-Man or something I don't fucking know. But that that's what it was. We played we played Pac-Man in the um in the place when it wasn't um open go go on this way don't I because of the frenzy. <laughs> yeah, save him first. I don't know if I held it first or whether whether you know I didn't hold it first, but um, I held it at some point. I don't know if it happened the first. You know, we probably played a few rounds of it until eventually, until eventually it went a bit wrong. No, baby. Look at that rolling all the dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, so I might as well GFI now. Gets him in a better spot, doesn't it? Yeah, we were just a little kids, Will King. I was like nine year old or something, or eight. And it was a younger brother, so he was he was younger than eight. <laughs> What year was it? 88, I guess, or 87? Yeah, you only get two stars, Cole, the, uh... Yeah, you only get two stars. More Annie and Eldril. More Annie and Eldril and Wizard, you can get them all. I worked it all out, didn't I? You get, um... You get... You get Moranian and Eldril. It's four thirty. And you get like two bribes as well. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you could have Soren and Hightower, yeah. Yeah, Soren and Hightower. <laughs> Eight year olds thrown dance at each other makes it so much better. <laughs> yeah, Soren Hightower, that's not a bad shout, is it? I fucking I fucking hate Eldril as well. Nobody nobody likes Eldril less than me in um So yeah, I reckon that's a good shout. Soren Soren fucking Hightower, holy shit. Unbelievable, Jeff. Just get a get a smooth power, of course. I'm looking for high elves on Fumble here, this is why I'm zooming in out. Don't know what they're called. Oh, they're still called high elves, not Chaos Renegades or Shambling Undead or some fucking bollocks. High Tower 118, he's got show hands, yeah, that's fair enough. And he doesn't have block though, so it's just kind of this almost the same, isn't it? If you've got block it's about the same, but Fend, kick off return. And strong arm so he can do some passes if you have to, which you might have to. So yeah, not a bad shout, so on high tower. I'd rather have Zara the Slayer. Oh, she's not in, is she, on, on Blood Bowl 2? Zara the Slayer would be a good shout. Strength 4 Blodge would be a good fucking shout as a ball carrier, wouldn't it? 
You can get two rives called if you spend all your money. <laughs> and pick dirty player on your um on your thing. Pick dirty player on your level up, get two bribes. I think pretty sure you can get two bribes. Moranian's two thirty and high towers one eighty. Alright, it's pretty shit you can't get Zara the Slayer. Because that had been that would be pretty good on a strength four bludger, wouldn't it, against against him? Alright. He wants to get his touchdown. Um He can go there for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That's really, that's really fucking annoying, isn't it? Oh, there's no. I right, fuck it. Let's just go. He can go there in case the GFI fails. Come on, Ginola. Ginola, man. Yes, stab versus AV7. Not even bad. I'm pretty sure there are. I'm pretty sure there is Coldy. I'm pretty sure there is enough gold for the second right? I worked it out. No, maybe I didn't. <laughs> yeah, the 780 TV difference. 780 TV difference. Oh no, 780 with plus TV plus your plus your all of your bank. And then it was. It was 150, and then 430, then 200. So yeah, there should be. I'm pretty sure there should be. No, she's six four three eight. Astro tour, but she's good. <laughs> 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 yeah, good player. Like expensive as fuck, obviously, but still, strength four blodger is a strength four blodger, isn't it? That's that's the thing. And the Dauntless can be used like... Stab and Dauntless is a good combo, isn't it? Because she can Dauntless big guys and stab little guys. But, um... Yeah, mostly just being a strength four bludger on a team that needs one. Yeah, Moranian with a strength four. They like strength four Dauntless, don't they? The, um... Games Workshop. Yeah, stakes is really, really corner case use, yeah. Um, but yeah, Moranian's good with a wrestling, wrestling tackle, isn't he? And block, so he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. He's pretty decent, to be honest, Moranian. Whoa, fucking hell. Fuck was that? Wind. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> 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 Shit, my pants. Shit, my damn pants. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Stakes is really in fact in the cost now. Just fluff so they can have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Mission Deets. What are we looking at? 15 minutes to finish Girls' Night. Tour was 23 to finish Bloody Rare. And four hours thirty minutes for digging for delicacies. Oh baby. Those sweet enchantment points. Oh, maybe I didn't count the skill. Maybe I didn't count the skill. Coldy, does, is, is that where I went wrong? Maybe that's where I went wrong. Yeah, it's 7.30. 
So I was just I was just fifty out for no reason. Fifty out doesn't make much sense, does it? Could understand if I'd missed the uh, missed off the skill. But I don't know why I'm 50, 50 off. Oh, we're seventeen thirty. Then you get fifty. You just get a bri you get a bribe and a babe. Then don't you? I just don't spend the fifty. Ghouls, yeah. She should be Zara Ghoul. She would Ghoul Chewer, shouldn't she? <laughs> it's funny that Vara Ghoul Chewers just cannot deal with ghouls whatsoever. I don't know, Targaryen Tandrum, I just think he's a bit pissed off with it and, and wants to try he wants I think he wants to try a crack. Albion, doesn't he? I mean if he probably thinks it's he probably thinks it's it'll be more lucrative to be the top Albion streamer than the top Blood Bowl streamer. Which um <laughs> yeah, only room for one chaos stream. <laughs> oh man, the sad thing is, the sad thing is, I bloody um, I'll probably want to go for <laughs> chaos again this season. <sighs> Might go dark elves. I don't know. Dark elves are a good shout, really. It is funny that Varagulchu is just shit at chewing ghouls. The fuck? Why? How can you take so long? So long! With an all zombie joke team. I just don't understand it. Oh my god, that's too short. They're on the low. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. Very powerful. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty loud. What's the fun about all zombies? Fun for your opponent, I guess. Um, I guess that's... <laughs> yeah, zombies instead of peasants. Or um, hobgoblins, or... Or skeletons. They're definitely the worst. The worst team to have a team of all the same, aren't they? I mean, uh, yeah, because even peasants have movement. So it's literally the worst. All zombies is absolutely the worst team of linemen you can make, isn't it? No doubt. Right, I want him to score, don't I? Let's get him forward. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. These two can go here. I like the three-on-one thing, strategy there, if you can call it that. Harass with a bludge step, just because he's super sexy. Yeah, go on. Tag him. Tag the ball carrier, kind of. Nah, Rotters, Rotters on the pitch are really good, aren't they? Rotters are like 5-3-3-8. Three, three, They're amazing. They're absolutely fucking amazing on the pitch. Get yeah, all elf linos. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, Sean, he takes us. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I'm being much like Lupa by, um, by, by, um, going for chaos continuously.
Yeah, but if you've gone all rotters, then your team costs 480k. <laughs> so you're going to have plenty of money to replace them, aren't you? So it's no real problem. Plus they've still got Nurgle's Rot, so you still get the kills turned into um, free rotters. So yeah, rot rotters were the star of my uh, star of my Nurgle team as well. How how quickly you forget that block claw rotter was a fucking boss, wasn't he? Yeah, it does make it hard to build players. Yeah, of course. Yeah, maybe in a, in a league like this, in a schedule league, I guess it wouldn't be so good because you yeah you wouldn't have skilled players. Yeah, fair enough. But yeah, if you take away the regen. Which doesn't matter, obviously doesn't matter, matter at all in this format. He's got four reserves. So if you're going all 16 players, then the region literally doesn't matter, apart from team building wise. So then you're looking at a stat line of 4-3-2-8 against 5-3-3-8. Because the, um, the decay doesn't matter in-game either, does it? Yeah, the only thing that matters is, yeah, building the players. This is pretty hard to get a pretty hard to get a um, rotter with three skills. Yeah, zombies thirty k. Holy shit! Brutal. Do you think he's actually tryharding with this team? Man, it just seems crazy. Well, I think he's won five games with them, so I guess he has been. <laughs> won five, lost 14. That's pretty good, isn't it? I've drawn one. Well, it depends. I guess the best team for it is Elf Lineman, isn't it? Wood Elf Lineman. It's probably the best, let's be honest. Let's be serious. <laughs> Let's be serious. Wood Elf Lineman. Because you've just got a great team with Wood Elf Lineman. Like that guy who had his... Who had his zero fucking... Um, oh, I should have kept him in contact. That was dumb as fuck. I'm not really watching. Yeah, Norse Lineman, then you could get Chaney as well, which would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Um, obviously, humans, you could get Griff. But, I mean, he's actually just gone 16 players. So yeah, he's not getting the the good part about going with Cheney. Um I should have kept in contact with him, that was pretty shit, wasn't it? I'm not really to be honest, I'm not really giving hundred and ten percent here. I do apologise. Unsafe moves first. Let's get him forward. Just so that just so that the, the goal scorer can move forward. Um Right, first push to there, second push to there. Which pushes him out. It just fucking doesn't need to do a whole lot, does it? I actually need to base him now, don't I? Run, get got. Right, can he get in here? Yep. Let him get around there. Yep. Let him get on there. Yeah, all climbing would be pretty good, yeah. I mean, if you just wanted to min max, Nurgle... Oh, I tell you what, the what, probably the best team would be... It would actually just be Chaos Pact, wouldn't it? Because then you just get to have... 
you know, two two full core pommers and not even have a bad team as well. Oh, Beastmen, Beastmen wouldn't even be bad as well. Beastmen had a had a devastating team on Fumble where we had four four jump up claw pommers and the rest were just normal Beastmen. That was a pretty fucking terrifying team for fourteen hundred TV. Um, so yeah, all Beastmen can be pretty good. Um, but yeah, all, all rotters with a Pestagore killer and a Pestagore carrier would be pretty, pretty fucking TV efficient, wouldn't it? It'd be pretty good on the pitch as well. Like that's the thing. The um, the other guys, the fucking zombies are shit on the pitch, really. Like, sure, it's good that they don't die so much in a game, but four three two eight isn't impressing anybody, is it? But yeah, when people did, the, you know, the min max pact, I thought you could just do min max, um, min max, no, go better really, like almost better. Because Pesta goes, what if you had ten players? You're looking at five hundred, six sixty, um, which is actually cheaper. No, it's not. It's sixty k more, isn't it? Oh god, I'm being stupid. No, it's 400. Oh, fucking hell. It's 560 for 12 players. If 10 of them are rotters and 2 of them are pesticides. And then it's 600 for 12 marauders. So it's actually cheaper to go 2 pesticides, 10 marauders, 10 rotters than it is to go 12 marauders. It is actually cheaper. And then obviously the pesticides are better claw pommers than the marauders are. Um, so yeah, you could do that. Yeah, Marauders are everything but strength, yeah. Oh, aggressive sidestep. Gotta base that ball. Yeah, you do get a better carry because you hit the elf, that's true. That's true. The elf's pretty amazing. But your claw pom's better if you go Nurgle. It's just a fucking pain in the pain in the fucking ass to build them up, isn't it? He's got his receiving threat. <laughs> oh well. Brilliant receiving threat there. Number one. He's ready to go. Oh, basing the ball. Did something against Agility 4, would you believe? Sweet KO. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hand off to over there. Pew pew. Oh, actually go there. And it, he's a bit safer, isn't he? Right, all the GFIs, let's go. Super zombie. Oh, baby. <laughs> it is an all zombie team, yeah. Amazing. Amazingly enough, it hasn't gone that well for him. 
But he's won five, drawn one, lost 14, which is pretty fucking amazing. But I guess some of his opponents weren't very good at Blood Bowl. Because to lose, to lose against an all zombie team is pretty special, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah, my wolf's got a hundred enchantment points, that's good. Ah, thank you very much, Last Ranger, for <laughs> the bits. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is a Shawnee 18 zombie. Oh man. Yeah, Underworld. <laughs> Not before summer. <laughs> yeah, it might take a while for the mine. I could have won this 4 0, probably couldn't have, but. Dicked around a bit. I don't even know what I was doing the first half. I should have tried to win 4 0, shouldn't I? Maybe he's gone for I couldn't really win 8 0, reliably. But I could have tried for a 6 0 or something, I guess. I guess that's what I should have done. Thanks, Morgan's TV. Um, yeah, I'm ill. I'm ill, so it's not on. <laughs> Shawnee Zombie. GG. Come on, 8 out of 9. You can do it. Skill up a, skill up a good one, a team up. I'm not going to play anymore. What the fuck am I even doing here? I don't know. Oh, shit. Hey, I tell you what, Shawnee, yesterday Fash admitted that sometimes you've got to take risks in Blood Bowl. Isn't that unbelievable? Un I mean, isn't that unbelievable? By by fashion, he actually admitted that sometimes you have to take risks in Blood Bowl. Blew my fucking mind. Right. Well, hey, loads of money for a team. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> the two deaths was disappointing, wasn't it? But never mind. It really doesn't matter. And a skill up for Janola. You can get Wrestle. Because I like having a Wrestle Ghoul. The ball Carrier Ghoul, Wrestle Ghoul. Perfect, pretty much. Um, so there you go. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.